with some flavor drops in it just to help suppress my appetite a little bit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? So we're back with a bit of a different episode this time. I'm gonna be doing, as a few people have asked, I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating. So today is the 18th, Saturday. So I'm literally three weeks out. Obviously last week I've done my video where I was four weeks out telling you what I've been up to and how things have been changing, etc., etc. If you haven't seen that, go check out that. But today I'm gonna to be doing a full day of eating. Today is rest day. So it should be a little lower on the calorie side as well. If I remember to film all my meals, which hopefully I will do. <laughs> Got it. But to start with, I'm gonna chuck up my check-ins from today so you can see where I'm at. Obviously it is morning time, so I've just got up literally. But these are my check-ins. This is sort of what I'm looking like at the moment. And the time now is just gone nine o'clock. So I'm gonna try and hold out for my first meal and have big green tea with some flavor drops in it just to help suppress my appetite a little bit hopefully i'll then go for a little walk to get my start to get my steps up because last night i was literally walking at like 11 o'clock at night to try and finish the rest of my steps before having um a really hot bath basically so i will catch you in the next clip okay so Meal one, I'm hanging out now. It's now five to 11. I didn't go for a walk, but instead I was sort of packing my car coming for returning next week. Um, so that got me a little over a thousand steps, like 1,300 steps and whatnot, which is something, and also I needed to do it anyway, just to keep my mind occupied. So meal one, I'm gonna have avocado, because I need to eat that because it's really soft basically um, in my first meals what I try and do is have my fat sauce in my first meals so whether that be avocado um, salmon as you'll know from my last prep series it was salmon every time or um, low fat hummus they're the three sort of like fat sauces that I'm utilizing at the moment on one of these which is a Bread fin. Uh, both are best of both. Oh, I can't even talk, man. I feel so drained right now. I just need a bit of food in me. But um, yeah, best of both worlds. The reason that I'm going to these fins is they're so much better. So again, last prep and in previous times, I would smash the bagels and then I'll come down to bagel fins because bagel fins are only 130 calories. But the bread fins are actually 100 calories. You might think, oh, it's only 30 calories, but one, that makes a huge difference um, every day. So in 10 days, that would be 300 calories. That I've, uh, that's like a whole meal that I've um, essentially cut out there. And also, um, with the bagel fins, obviously there's a hole in the middle, so when I'm like spreading something on there, whether it be avocado, egg, whatever I'm choosing, it's just harder to eat, whereas they obviously have a bigger surface area. Just so much easier. So yeah, I will show you what it looks like afterwards, but essentially all I'm gonna do is cut this open, mash it up into a bowl, and put some lemon juice and pink salt with it, and then that will just be my meal one. So obviously by bowl, I mean Tupperware, because I literally live out of Tupperware, as many of you know. All I've done is I've put it into a corner, lent it up, and then just chopped it with scissors, because again, I use scissors for absolutely everything. There's my toasted um, bread fin. You know, whack that onto there, and then get that in, have something on the TV playing, probably beer versus food. Because <laughs> weirdly, that's like something that I want to watch and I don't know about everyone else but I feel like when you're eating something especially when you're only having a small meal you kind of need that comfort of having a little show on or something in the background so that was the first meal in that is 360 calories of 135 grams of um, avocado and then the fin. 
and also I am tucking into a lovely American cream soda because again these things are bad boy one calorie per 350 milliliters but I do say you have to watch out for these things that say no sugar because they don't always have no sugar so the way that they can get away with saying no sugar just for anyone that doesn't know is if there is less than 0 0.5 grams of sugar per 100 milliliters they can essentially call it zero sugar so it could be 0 0.4 grams per 100 milliliters and say you've got a 500 ml bottle what's that that's that's 20 grams of sugar about quick maths i don't know stop being a moron next meal i'll show you when we get to it yo so it's been about 45 minutes since i had my um first meal and what i'm gonna have now because i'm still starving is just basically some lettuce and some bread onion so it comes to 25 calories because there's a little bit more calories in the red onion but it makes it so much more bearable just to eat that rather than just a plain lettuce for those of you who don't know lettuce is super low in calories essentially just water there is a little bit more calories in the red onion just because it's got natural sugars in it but what i'm going to put in there to make it just not so plain is some skinny sauce this one is garlic and mushroom and per serving, which is 15 milliliters, there's only one calorie. So if I squirt 15 milliliters in here, it's gonna be one calorie. It's mainly just sweetness and artificial stuff. So that is what I'm gonna do. And on completion of this, I'm gonna try and take my sorry ass to the gym to do 30 minutes of low intensity cardio on the bike, come back and perhaps have a meal then once I get back um and then i need to edit my podcast and hopefully get that posted out so i'll have the meal do that and then let you know what i'm doing next right so i'm now off to go drag myself to the gym and do a bit of cardio i'm going a little bit completely a little bit of hypo so i'm going to take with me this little 65 calorie benefit bar, chocolate fudge, just a little tiny something just to tick me over. So basically when you go and hyper you're super depleted and you haven't got carbs and your blood sugar level is probably a little bit low and everything just feels like it's super strained so you feel like you're a little bit dizzy and you essentially just have no energy. Um, so yeah, that'll help me out a little bit. First cardio done, half an hour. I feel absolutely fucked to say the least. Um, just a little funny one though, as I'm walking back, hanging out, I thought I was hanging out. I've just bumped into, I'm gonna name names, one of my fucking mates. Um, and he looked pretty rough, and I was like, you good? And he's like, yeah, I'm fucking still shy as I drunk. Um, and he's just got back, basically, from a night out. It's one in the afternoon on Saturday, so he went out, Friday evening and he's returned back at one. I said, where, where did you even stay? He said, oh, I have no idea. Some, some random fucking house just woke up and I've just got back. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yo, so I've no idea why. I just literally filmed, filmed that whole next meal explanation and my phone just basically turned off. Um, but I'm gonna try and do it again. Hopefully it's not gonna turn off and make it a bit quicker. So I've just come back from the um, gym, done a little bit of cardio steady state nothing major and off camera i have just had a protein chocolate pudding from aldi everyone's probably seen them it's 161 calories but yeah i was hanging out and just got that in there um so my next actual meal is going to be one times bag of veg which is in the microwave right now it's just been cooked and then in this tupperware i'm going to put 90 cal uh, 90 grams of liquid egg whites and one times egg so one egg is about 45 grams and then obviously the liquid egg whites you can have more volume for less calories because of there's no yolk and there's not as much fat in there so that's the egg substance so that's protein part and then what else i'm going to put in there Ooh. cream of rice i'm going to put 45 grams of cream of rice 
Then move them to egg mixtures, mix it up, put a bit of water in there, chuck it in the microwave, 30 seconds to a minute, mix it up, 30 seconds to a minute, and then bring it all out, put the veg into the top, cut it all out, probably a bit of red onion, and then a little bit of garlic puree, as I've just mentioned, but you won't have seen it. Um, a heap of Himalayan salt because eggs and Himalayan salt go perfectly. And then maybe a little bit of skinny sauce if I need it. But apart from that, that is going to be the next meal. I'll show you what it looks like in about now. It's all about preparation as well, just quickly. I've got an entire tub here of about 10 red onions, all diced up in an airlock bag. You have to spend a little bit more to get an airlock box, sorry. But um, they last for ages. This will last me like a week and a half if you put them in the fridge. And it's just so much easier. I can just take a little handful of them out and chuck them onto your meal on the scale with bomb. Okay, so here is my finished product. Yes, it does look like um, something that you'd bring back up after a horrendous night out. Mmm, mm, so good. But. It actually will taste pretty decent. The only thing I did add in there, which I didn't mention, is a couple of spinach. I just had it in there just to bolster it out a little bit. Again, spinach is super low calories, so it's just gonna make me feel a little bit more full. But yeah, it does look a bit like baby sick, but that is meal three or meal two going in. All right, here we go. So this is the next meal. This is a wrap. I always have a wrap meal. I have 150 grams of chicken breast. I have 15 grams of uh, red onion. I have a handful of spinach underneath there, and then a bit of the skinny sauce and pink salt. Let's get it in. Yo, so, quick update. I've finished the rest of my cardio on the bike. I've done my walk, so I went for a walk and I finished my steps, actually a little bit higher. A um, couple of pieces of food that I missed out, so I had a 10 calorie jelly, just like one of these. It's actually seven calories, but I had one of them. I had another micro bag of veg, because I forgot to put that in the meal. And also I had a bowl of lettuce, because um, when I got back from the walk, I was absolutely starving, but I wanted to long out the meals. So, obviously, I've just had a really hot bath, so I'm absolutely drenched in sweat. In sweat. Yeah, buddy! It's on now! But now, for my last meal, I've got uh, Naughty Boy Cream of Rice, uh, Blueberry Pancake, yum, and also Biotech Iso Whey Protein, and 100 millilitres of almond milk. So, I'll show you that when I've got that, but that will be my last meal. So, catch you then. Boom, there we go. Come on, focus. Look at that. So I actually used uh, white chocolate coconut instead, and I add um, a bit of the bicarbonate soda. Is that what it's called? Yeah, bicarbonate soda, basically baking powder. And it basically raises it up into this cake. And I've also got Turkish Delight, mixed opinion on Turkish Delight, but I absolutely love Turkish Delight. Um, skinny sauce, which again is one calorie per serving. So I'm just gonna, if it's gonna come up, come on. Sprinkle some of that on top, boom. Look at that, last meal. So boom, there it is, last meal. Show you a bite. Mmm. Absolutely banging. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, do all of that. And until next time, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be like, but uh, check out the last video, which was an update for the four weeks. Oh, this is three weeks. Soon it's only going to be two, and then I'm going to be on stage. So I'll catch you then. But until then, let's make some gains. Boom.